happy Friday. How are you? Uh, me, not too hot today, man. Did not sleep last night again. It's freaking getting to me. I'm like getting sick of it. I'm lucky if I brush my hair, you guys. This is what I look like running around these days. I look like hell. I feel like hell. So it's okay to look like hell, I guess. But um, yeah, I didn't sleep good last night. Now, the night before last was the first time in weeks that I slept tough, like really good. I slept hard and um, felt pretty good yesterday. I got my four mile run in yesterday with the burpees at every mile. I've been trying to do 15 burpees at the end of every mile because I'm getting, I'm trying to get used to are trying to get prepared for the Spartan race and I know I'm going to be doing a lot of burpees because those obstacles are hard and um, it's going to take work and practice and, and all that good stuff. So I've been doing burpees because I knew they're coming but man yesterday burpees were just way too hard and so I must not be 100 per I must that one night sleep must not gave me 100% because the first mile I did 15 burpees and then um, after the second mile went down to do burpees and like by burpee 12 like I couldn't even hop my legs back you know I kind of stepped back and I'm like okay this is a waste so I said just get 10 get 10 solid burpees out so um so yeah so I did um 10 burpees at the end of the third and end of the fourth mile so um yeah but it's just funny because like I've been doing like the first time I went out like I did 30 burpees and per mile but I broke those up I broke them up like by every like third of a mile and I did those fine and then I started like doing them in a row so I started doing 15 at the end of every mile and I was fine but yeah they were just I just couldn't get them out yesterday so I just think this lack of sleep I feel bad for all of you that um, deal with insomnia you guys I'm I feel for you so much. I've never ever had an issue with sleeping until this whole, you know, change is happening to me. And um, I just feel for you. If you guys, if any of you are suffering with insomnia, put a comment in my comments below. All of us, let's get together and let's start lifting each other in prayer at night. I'm, I'm going to pray for you every night. So let me know if you're struggling and I hope you do the same for me. God can intervene on this, you know. So, hold on, I got construction. But anyway, so um did that strength training I didn't get done Wednesday. John woke me up really early because Kayla was sick all night Tuesday night, and I ended up heading over to Kayla's really early Wednesday. So, I didn't get a workout in. I was just too busy caring for her and Tronis. I did go for a walk with Tronis, a nice long walk when Ted got home. So that was good. And then, um, like I said, yesterday was run day. Today is supposed to be full body strength training, but John's got a bunch of stuff he needs to do this morning. So I am heading over early um, to Kayla. I just didn't sleep good last night, so I just couldn't get myself out of bed. Out of bed before um, 6.30 this morning to get that workout in. So it is what it is. Um, hopefully I'll get something in today. I'm hoping Kay will come back to my house so then when Ted gets home from work maybe he can sit with the kids and I can sit with Kayla and Tronis and I can get a workout in. I'll try hard. If not, it's not the end of the world. I was talking to Sarah because like Wednesday in the back of my mind I'm like because one thing about me when I put a calendar of training up for me it's like I gotta get it done. It's just how I'm a very to-do list kind of person and it's like I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done and I was having such a good day you know even though Kayla was like I was having a good day with Travis. I'm like my mind is so negative like oh you're not gonna get your workout in. You're not gonna get your workout in. And I'm totally losing the joy of being with my grandson and I and I was talking to Sarah and I'm like that's just unhealthy. Like I think it's great to be committed and disciplined but if it is um changing your mindset while you are living life then there's a problem like I think that's no worse than an eating disorder um I think you can have fitness disorder so I finally snapped out of it and I'm like it's not the end of the world if you don't if you miss one strength training it's not the end of the world if you miss a week of working out you're not gonna lose 
lose lose what you've gained so um yeah so um I felt good about kind of putting that back so I'm not putting that stress on me my family needs me right now and I'm gonna be there for my family so and I do want to thank Nana Grace Nana Grace thank you for your comment when I was whining before sorry I always feel like I'm whining in every freaking video to Kayla and John's but Nana Grace thanks for commenting um and telling me it's gonna get easier that you have no idea I needed to hear that because it's doom and gloom by everybody I talk to that's gone through the change and that you know and I read it to Ted and Ted goes I'm so glad Nana Grace said that because Nana Grace we feel like you're a badass she's a motorcycle riding badass and she is a farm I used to be a farm girl so she's a farm girl she's tough so like if she says it's gonna get better then it's probably gonna get better because she's not a baby she's not a she's not a wimpy baby so as long as it gets a little bit better as long, if I could sleep I'm fine you know yeah so she said it gets better so I'm hoping it does um I'm at Kayla and John's right now I'll go in in a second but um yeah and then I I got way in tomorrow I hope I have time to do a video and stuff you guys anymore I feel like all I have time is to do a video in the car while I'm driving places so I mean worst case scenario it's going to be a community upload of my scale and my measurements I'm not going to put that stress on me so but yeah that's it I'm really tired all right, you guys, <laughs> I'm going to let you go. Bye.